It has the potential when a patient comes into a trauma center to stop the bleeding until that patient can be taken into surgery for injury repair. Dr. Timothy Pritz here at Ohio's University of Cincinnati is the principal investigator of this national trial. So this is a, uh, something called a rescue foam. This was developed by researchers from Harvard and the Massachusetts Institute for Technology working with the United States uh, Department of Defense. And it is an expandable foam that's designed to be injected into the abdomen. As this animation provided by Arsenal Medical shows, it is injected in this case when there's a liver injury and it fills the space to stop the bleed. Think of this sort of as a fix-a-flat except for the human abdomen. Since trauma is the leading cause of death in young people and bleeding is considered one way to prevent those deaths, whether in the emergency room or even on the battlefield, the goal is to save lives. What's in it? So the foam is made out of uh, two individual uh, chemicals that come together, create this expandable foam. It's been uh, thoroughly tested in preclinical models and thoroughly tested in recently deceased individuals to ensure that there's no direct toxins uh, to the body, but it's basically an inert substance. And the idea is that uh, we'll put the foam into somebody who's bleeding to death uh, and then remove it uh, and control the hemorrhage directly. Now, just a handful of trauma centers in the U.S. have been selected to participate in this trial. We won't know full results for several months. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.